Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. So here's where we stand tonight. We're looking at Tropical Depression Ada located there just to the north of the Honduran coast there east of Belize. Winds at 35 miles an hour moving to the north at 8. It's going to be turning to the northeast and Tropical Storm watches are up for the Cayman Islands. Here's the threat cone. The threat cone, the yellow area is the Tropical Storm conditions. That's what we care about. Uh, of course, if it was stronger, there would be an embedded area of uh, hurricane conditions. But right now, the forecast is for a tropical storm. This is the Sunday morning position here. So as far as our timing is concerned, it stays breezy with the showers. We're kind of stuck in this pattern through Saturday. And then on Sunday, the weather deteriorates as the storm gets closer to us. That's the 7 p.m. position now. And then as we go into Monday at 7 p.m., there it is there. So it's going to have to make a turn. The real unknown still, even though the whole track has shifted a bit to the north. How quickly does it make that turn? Is it a fairly sharp turn like the earlier forecast was? Um, probably not. A lot of times storms will make those really sharp turns when they're moving this quickly. Is it a more gradual turn like this? That's probably likely, but is it even a slower turn where it kind of moves on up into South Florida? That's also a possibility. And is it a strong tropical storm? That's also a possibility. All the timing, though, is for later on Sunday, Sunday night into Monday here, unless it speeds up. But for the time being, uh, that's the time frame there. And then by Tuesday, it's in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Now, why is it going to be making this big turn? First off, there's a lot of moisture coming with it. So rain and rainfall and flooding are going to be a big concern, especially by the time we get to Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. But there's this dip in the jet stream. You can see it right here. This is going to be moving down and then kind of stalling here. And that's what's going to pull the tropical storm around to the left there, around to the west. How all this evolves, it's a complicated situation. So it may not evolve perfectly. And we can expect probably uh, some more just to the forecast track as we go forward in the next few days. Here's the latest radar showing you showers continuing to come in. Looking pretty good in Broward, a stray shower here or there. Much Miami-Dade looking good. South Dade has the heavier rain as well as the Keys. We've seen some gusty showers moving through the Keys there, including the middle and upper Keys uh, throughout the day. Highs today were in the mid-80s. The wind has been strong. It's out of the east right now, anywhere from about 13 to 17 miles an hour. Wind gust well over 30 miles an hour, and we're going to see this repeat itself again tomorrow. Here's the moisture flow, and this is going to be one of the big problems because all of this deep tropical moisture comes up over us on already saturated grounds. That's Saturday. There's Sunday. We're in the thick of it. There's Monday. And then maybe even by Tuesday, we'll have to be careful we don't get caught in some type of moisture tail. I think flooding is going to be very, very serious uh, if this pans out the way it's looking right now. The passing showers tonight, fairly breezy, a low temperature in the mid-70s for tomorrow, a day similar to today. Gusty showers, some downpours, a high temperature in the mid 80s, maybe a peak at the sun here or there. Small craft advisory east on the water at 20 to 25. Seas running four to seven feet. The worst of the weather looks like it's going to be Sunday and Monday. Saturday, if needed, will be our prep day. Of course, we'll update you on that tomorrow. Back to you.